Hello and welcome to VW Surfwagon, where today we've just got a short little video for you because we're still on lockdown. Sadly, I couldn't be with the other guys, but I'm here with my girlfriend Pippi. We have just bought a real life VW Surfwagon to add to the family. So we thought we'd give you a little tour and see what you think. Let's go. This is our 2005 VW Caddy, which we bought already converted into a little camper. It has a 1.9 TDI engine at the front, producing just over 100 horsepower, and a tiny but thoughtfully made living space at the back. The previous owner replaced the seats with VW Scirocco seats, which are nice and comfy, and it's also got an aftermarket head unit with USB and Bluetooth connectivity. Okay, the bit we really care about is the back because that's what differentiates it from a car. Um, so this van we bought already converted. We were a little bit lazy like that, but it means it's ready to go. It's fully insulated already, um, so it'll be nice and warm in here. Uh, and that's the big job and that's been done already, which is great. Uh, there's loads of spaces for storage. So we've got space under the bed at this end, which is, has a little partition about here. And then there's space under the bed at this end as well. There's also netting above your head which is really useful for storing stuff at night when you've got it in bed mode um, there's also a little cubby hole down below the floor down there which is really good and then it's got the space above the cab as well so there's loads of space to store stuff it's also got this nifty little table that folds up and you just tie the string to the roof and then you've got yourself some extra surface for cooking or eating um, so yeah it's currently in sofa mode um, which is nice with the sofa along the back here, which gives you plenty of room to do stuff and then it can fold out into bed mode as well. So it's been done really nicely, um, even though it's pretty much the smallest van you can get, it feels a lot bigger because of the way they've converted it and utilised the space. So as well as the folding table inside, there's two on each door, which are just hinged on and then a rope just comes up and you can just clip it into the door mechanism and it just holds it in place, which is really clever. And then one on this side as well. Um, and there's a little um, hook there so it doesn't rattle around too much when you're driving. And then they're really just securely fixed in. And then when you want to release them, you just go into the door handle and just release it. And then it's back to driving mode. So the way this van goes from sofa to bed mode is really uh, nifty actually. So you just pull these out, there's two, one on either side, and then the second one's just up at the front, pull them out and then pull the sofa down and voila! Here is our very swifty memory foam mattress, which was the first thing we changed when we bought the van is we literally got, got two sheets, sewed them together and did a seam down the middle so it's easy to fold. And then there's just two sheets of foam on either side. Um, and it's actually re surprisingly really comfortable. So once you're in bed mode, there's a really nifty little gadget here, which you just pull down and flip over and you've got yourself a little laptop hammock to watch films and stuff when you're lying in bed, which is really clever. And then the netting storage above here is really easy to access as well when you're in bed mode. And another thing we did, which obviously is a van life must, is put up some fairy lights around, which are really cosy when it's dark. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it they actually project a lot of light it's such a small space it works quite well so that was our tiny tour of our tiny van hopefully we can actually use it soon and get some content of us on the road in it um, and we can join Sam with his uh, T4 camper van as well um, so we can get a bit of a camper van convoy on the go um, so yeah hope you enjoyed that video uh, if you want to subscribe you can press the little button down here maybe um, and if you want to watch another video click on Pippi's face Thanks very much for watching.